This is the pinion stand at Eurobike. Uh, they've got lots of nice bikes on here today, but the most important thing, the most uh, thing we're, oh, sorry, the thing we're most looking forward to seeing is, if I can find it, there should be a version of the, there we go, uh, the Pinion MGU. So it comes in three different versions. And the reason that we're interested in these is because these are the motors that are going to be fitted on the um, Delight 5 and the Homage 5 next year. So essentially, um, Pinion make four different versions of the motor. They do a nine speed, two of those. So there's um, a nine speed standard, which is uh, 25 kilometers an hour, suitable for the UK market. And then there's a 45 kilometer an hour one, which essentially would be a high speed bike. Um, Recent will have decided not to use the nine speed. They're going all out, good work. They are using the um, 12 speed version of it. So we've got 12 speed here, and then we've got a 12 speed high speed version of it. Now, this bike is, sorry, this, this motor is pretty epic because we've got a gear range here of um, 600 percent so if we think about the roll-off hubs that we are used to seeing on the recent Muller bikes uh, the roll-off hubs have a 540 percent assistance um, so we're actually getting a larger range of gears off that although we're losing two of the gears so the steps will be slightly larger and we're getting a bigger gear range which means that maybe on the high-speed bikes then we can have a cadence that um, is a bit lower we have a bit more sensible pedaling as we're going on um, so that's going to be a really nice new motor and um, the details or specs of that we're looking at 800 watts of um, peak power 85 newton meters of torque um, just yeah an incredible motor it's going to be really really impressive 85 newton oh, 250 um, watts of nominal power so which is the part that makes that one over there at UK road legal now the other thing that Pinion have got here at the um, show today we can see the exploded motor as we go through so on the right hand side here we've obviously got the the motor so we can see all the windings and everything um, sitting here um, and then as we sort of break down through the motor, through the shaft, then we can start to see the gearbox on this side. Now, this motor here that they've broken out is actually the 12-speed motor, um, and they squeeze all that gearing and everything into a single block, which is obviously this thing here, which fits into the bottom bracket. Now, there's another version of this over here, which I'm gonna come and show you. So what you'll see on this one is that they've taken the top off. This is probably built back together again, and you can see all the gearing inside that motor. So you can see the little cogs spinning around. You can see the motor that's up the top here all of that I don't know if you can see for comparison for the size of my hand um, it's a tiny tiny little motor and um, we this one is actually the high speed version of the motor so we're talking a, a 12 speed one here capable of going up to um, 45 kilometers an hour and um, similar to I guess the uh, Bosch performance line CX or uh, sorry performance line CX speed motor um, but then this is a separate gearbox that is all combined onto it separately so really really lovely piece of kit and we're excited to be seeing these in the um, Delight 5 and Homage 5 from Reese and Muller, uh, which reminds me over here we've actually got one of the Homage 5s as well. So this is the new bike that we're going to be getting from Reese and Muller. Um, this particular one, so this is a uh, homage GT um, pinion I think it's called these bikes uh, the showroom bikes are going to be turning up in February and then the first customer bikes or bikes for sale will be turning up in March 2025 so we've got a bit of a wait um, to see the final specification of them but I think they're pretty much here but you can see down the bottom half here we can see our pinion motor so this is the 12 speed motor and gearbox combined in here and then we've got a little bit so this piece here this is just a piece of covering now the reason that Reese and Muller have done that is really smart it's so that we can have different types of motors so in there they've got a plate that they've built that will allow us to have either a Bosch motor a pinion motor or possibly even another motor manufacturer put in there at later date without having to completely redesign the whole bike now you'll see on this bike as well the nice thing about the pinion is because we've moved everything up to the um, crank up here so all the weight is down low on the bike when we come back to the back we've obviously got a belt drive a Gates carbon belt drive coming onto a rear sprocket and then there's just nothing so there's no weight on this this rear wheel at all all that weight's been moved to the front into the center so it makes the bike nice and easy to ride um, and the simplicity here is absolutely superb and I guess um, one of the things that always worried people was um, how do you remove a wheel when you've got a, a roll-off gearbox in there it was actually quite simple you only had to pull out one plug and then drop it all out it just looks an awful lot simpler and nicer and cleaner lines going on but then with recent Muller that it's not that um, that isn't the only thing that they've done to the bike essentially there's loads of other stuff they've done and um, they've redesigned the rear swing arm they've redesigned the rack they've made a different shaped frame they've actually made the homage which I like this the same frame sizes as the GT sorry Delight G, uh, 
Delight 5 GT. So they do a 47, 51 and 56 of it. So you get the same on the homage as you do across to the um, Delight. We've got new things like battery covers in here. Obviously that's not a Bosch battery in there now. This is a battery that is made by Fit. Now there's a bit of a weird thing here. So um, we're on the um, pinion stand here. But that is combined with a fit stand, so fit are over here. And fit are the people that actually then produce all the displays and batteries to go with a bike. So on this bike here, you can see we've got a different little display over here, quite a simple one with no central mount on it. I'm gonna come over here and try and find them for you on the fit display stuff. And hopefully we'll have a bit, of, yeah, here we go. So we can get in and have a quick look at these. So we can see all the different displays that we've got here available. Now, the ones that Reese and Muller are gonna be using, I think the first one that we're going to be using is this one down here i'll find another version of it that is switched on okay okay don't know it's locked i don't know how to unlock that essentially we've got this nice basic display that we've got on here which allows you then to mount a mobile phone but the one i really like is this one here so we've got a central screen um, on the display with a plus and minus we can see the different settings that we've got on here all the way up pretty similar to bosch where you have sort of a few different settings on there but the really nice thing about this that is really special is that with fit um, they have actually then um, done some integration to control the gearbox so you get to do all these special things so if you think of a Bosch motor that then has a roll-off gearbox on the back of it you get things like the ride away gear so you know you can set the gear that you want it to automatically drop drop down to when you come to a stop um, Fit and Pinion have done that even better again so they have got uh, they have a sort of ride away gear but they also have this ability that if you're coasting on your bike it knows what gear you're going to need to be in when you start pedaling so you don't have that silly sort of spinning your legs up or running too slow it's just ready to go it's in the right gear at the right time the other thing that they're bringing in in uh, the next couple of months is then uh, the ability um, to have that completely automatic shift on it. So having the cadence set in there and then it will do all the rest of the gearing for you. Now you can get that on something um, like an Enviolo automatic with a Bosch motor. Downside of the Enviolo is it's a very short range of gears. Um, well, sorry, that's, that's me being a bit negative. It's not very short, it's a shorter range of gears. Um, but it makes a, a really lovely automatic gearing um, system they have. I'm really looking forward to see what um, Fit do when that comes out because that should be pretty special um, other things oh obviously batteries that's the important one I guess um, batteries that come with them let me show you so this is the fit range of batteries essentially there's loads of different ones this is interesting uh, a range extender hopefully that'll be something that we can use soon um, but this is the most important one I think this is the one here so that's the battery that is going to be used for the new Delight 5 and Homage 5 from Reese and Muller now those are going to be fitted then with an 800 watt hour battery so 800 watt hour we'd be thinking we're going to get about 80 miles from that um, bike on a sensible sort of eco um, type setting or if we're going to ride like loonies then maybe we're going to get 40 miles out of it either way um, that's pretty impressive so when you start looking at the new delight 5 and homage 5 um, i guess we're, we're all going to be upset because we can't have dual battery like we did on the um, bosch type system but we're going to get 80 miles out of it and i'm sure with time there's um, going to be upgrades made so that they'll start to be range extenders and stuff but as, a, as an entry for it we've got this phenomenal system a combination of a, a pinion motor and gearbox combined together with a fit display and batteries and everything and I think this is going to be a real game changer for Reese and Muller especially for the Delight 5 and Homage 5 when they become available later in the year.